Emily Lubke is awesome. She's starting a brand new program for us and coming in as a brand new teacher. Normally, I would not hire someone as a brand new teacher to begin a program. I, I just think it's hard enough figuring out what to do when you're just beginning. Okay, so today is a block day. So we will start out with a long art class. But she's astounding. What impressed us the most was her attitude is always about what students can do, not what they can't do. Then we'll go out to the grocery store, and as soon as they get back, they'll go to lunch. Right after lunch, job skills, a reading lesson, and they go to gym class at the very end of the day and pack up and go home. I, I just have so much admiration for this young teacher who just came in and took the bull by the horns. Um, here's our schedule for the day. The paraeducators, you get here around 7 o'clock. So you can just go to the fundamentals like you always do. And we wait for the bus. Good morning, Maya. Good morning, Mariella. Good morning, Marvin. School community-based students are students who have significant cognitive disabilities and sometimes physical disabilities as well. And they're not going to special centers. John, honey, you not feeling good? It's a busy day, and it's a long day. You guys go ahead. I'm going to take John down to the nurse right now. John, hon, let's, OK. Calm down. You know, up in the main lobby of the Let's go to the nurse, OK? Let's walk, buddy. And the nurse isn't here yet. Could somebody come and sit with him in the nurse's office? OK. So that's the, sometimes the way we start out our, morning, our mornings. Hello, everybody. Hello, so the goal of the school community-based program is for the students to gain access to the general ed curriculum, mostly in reading, writing, and math. And then, of course, we have the community-based component so that when they get their certificate, then they can go on and be very functional adults. Do you need to walk to the nurse with me? One thing that happens with my students, they very much can set each other off. So for instance, when John came in and got sick right away, that will frequently result in other students feeling sick all of a sudden or being upset. It's very intense the first year. You have a new teacher who is managing quite a few things at one time. Show me where your hands are supposed to be. Not on my head. That's right, Marvin, at your sides. Let's go. Even in the school community-based program, expectations are very high for all students. So that puts a lot of pressure on teachers. Moving to the art class is always harder. I just wish it didn't happen first thing in the morning because this is my planning period. So. <laughs> One of the things I always take great pride in with Blake students is how tolerant they are. They're very accepting, they're very tolerant, and the response I see from our kids is, okay, yeah, these are kids in our school. Yeah, they may be a little different, they may have some different needs, but you know, so what? That's cool. Thank you for turning around, okay? Yeah, he did. The rest did. of the day, no hugs, hon. Let's do high fives. Miss Lutke has those students morning. seven hours a day. They're learning to be adolescents, so you have that kind of behavior. Because John's not awesome. feeling well, John and he is very wants to make a card for him so he'll feel better. So she is going to be seeing a whole gamut of emotions throughout the day, probably most, more so than most parents would see. I really want them to be able to succeed, particularly in the workplace. All right, where are we going today? Grocery store. That's right. I think grocery shopping in particular is just a very important trip. It's an important place for students to be able to feel comfortable, and most of my students are working on different skills. So we'll say hi to the clerk. Hi. That's right, Miss Maya. I know. You ready to go grocery shopping? Can? I don't know. What do you want to buy? What is that? Nothing. A carton? Good job, Tom. Why don't you ask him your question, Brandon? Where are salt? Uh, seven. Go ahead. Good. Cents. Very good. Now here's the part where we have to weigh something. Put them down. Every day is different. Every day I kind of uh -huh. have to attack the problem in a different way. Good, so I'm still learning how to really address all of the academic and behavioral needs of my students on a daily basis, but I'm also, as a first year teacher, a bit overwhelmed by how much I need to learn just about the school system. Like what form I need for which purpose, how to find the form, 
who to ask. I mean, those are things that I think are just going to come with years of being in the system. I have to go down and feed Maya. I like working with a lot of other adults. It's really nice because they're all very willing to give me feedback on how I'm doing and give me great suggestions with these kids. Sometimes you have to be so creative and I'll have somebody from Interactcom or the speech pathologist come in and I'll ask her, you know, how can we do this? I just, something's not working. Someone will have a great idea. So that's what the great thing about it is. The only thing I have trouble with is keeping it all straight. Time management is a major piece that we work with with the new teachers because you're not just working with the student who you can mold, but you're also working with another adult who has their idea of what should be going on in the classroom. If I had a goal for the general ed students who come in contact with the school community-based students, my goal is that they learn how to be comfortable talking to someone who's not exactly like they are. I think it's really important to learn that when you're young, that people who have disabilities are just like everybody else. I think I'll take it because I want to make sure it works. You know, and you'll show me how to use it when oh, you come yeah. back? Yeah. Okay. Mike Walsh has been a, a very good resource for me. I'm a consulting teacher. And what we do is go into classrooms and support new teachers, novice teachers who are coming in. And we help them learn about Montgomery County's uh, standards of teaching. We help them learn about curriculum. We help them learn the ropes and supply any kind of supports that, that we can. The intent of all of this is teacher retention. The disruption caused by teachers coming and going certainly impacts the overall effect of our educational process. So we want to attract the very best teachers we can, and then we want to keep them. It's a whole network of people who are dedicated to ensuring uh, Emily's as well as every other new teacher's success. It's the Ultim SA reports. Good, 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 good. I think the idea behind the Ultim SA is that students who have disabilities should have access to the general education curriculum. And I think it's critical for the students too because they want to have benchmarks just like any other student would. Do you stay healthy by eating candy? No, candy's bad. Uh, Where's up? exercise? It's very helpful that my principal and that the staff here is incredibly supportive of this brand new program. That's helped me tremendously. Okay, let's get a good stretch. Mr. Howley has been a great asset to this school and to, particularly to this program. Not only is he familiar and he knows what their quirks are and he knows how to work with them, but he's also just so enthusiastic. He loves working with school community-based students. One, two, oh. three. Seven. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! I will have this cookie. Because I haven't had lunch yet. All right, Miss Watching Maya. Maya get on the bus nice is, is usually the last thing that happens Bye. during my school day. When Maya smiles at you for whatever reason or whenever it is, something's good. Something, nice something went right that day. So that's what my classroom looks like at the end of the day. It's a shambles. Today was worse than usual. What they take on is very overwhelming and there's a special place in heaven for people who teach special education. We need to make sure that we're also providing as many supports as possible for them. I think that's what will keep our first year teachers, keep Emily specifically, I hope. Stride. Go, Chris, go! Raymond, lift your knees! When I come out here after class, I like to just, you know, joke around with the kids, kind of get in a few laps of running, and, you know, just kind of forget about my day for at least two hours. It's a major stress reliever. I love coaching. I'm really, really glad I made that decision. At the end of every day, I go home, and something crazy might have happened, but I almost always feel like somebody got something out of being in my class that day. That makes me feel good because the more that my students do and show people that they can do, the more people are going to expect them to learn and to behave beyond expectations. So let's open up our book. We need to see you reading. <laughs>